Here's one you don't hear every week. J-Lo hits a career high with her newest movie. These Wall Street guys. You see what they did to this country? They stole from everybody. Hardworking people lost everything. In Hustlers, she's more than just a stripper who works hard for the money. She's a single mother trying to stay afloat during the 2008 financial crisis. These are my coworkers. Working at a New York club, she cons clients out of thousands every night and never looks back. Even better, Jennifer Lopez puts her skills to work and performs routines that'll make you think a new day is dawning for dancing. Directed by Lorene Scafaria, Hustlers takes us behind the scenes and shows us just how difficult the job is. It also reveals just how cagey these women can be. Co-starring Constance Wu, Hustlers is part Ocean's 8, part Flashdance, part 9 to 5. A family with money! It's also a telling document about a time in history when Me Too wasn't even a pipe dream. Kiki Palmer, Lily Reinhardt, Cardi B and Lizzo are here too, but Hustlers belongs to Lopez. She's so good you might even consider her a contender for next year's Best Actress. And that's no hustle. I like this one. Look at the map. Where were you when it happened? Another film with great expectations was based on a Pulitzer Prize winning novel. Called The Goldfinch, it's a coming of age story about a boy who's taken in by a wealthy family after the death of his mother in a bombing incident. Starring Oak Spegley as the younger version, Ansel Eggert as the older, the and film the twists and turns so much thing. you wonder if it's ever going to straighten out or make sense. It doesn't really, when but I that's not her. because Donna Tartt's novel wasn't absorbing. It's because director John Crowley isn't quite sure what to do with a cavalcade of characters, an atlas of locations, and a host of relationships. Well, Nicole Kidman, Sarah Paulson, and Elgort are good in the film. They're not well served. The Goldfinch flies all over the place. Now, if you weren't a fan of the book, it's unlikely you'll warm to the film. It takes off, but not enough for an audience used to stories that are definitely headed somewhere. With your movies in a minute, I'm Bruce Miller.